Have you heard of the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV? Well, it's time to unhear it because if you ever utter these words again, Yoshi P will break into your house and beat you so badly, even Lord Xenos is going to be impressed of his work. What's going on, beautiful people? Jigeru here, and today we are going to be talking about the recent updates with regards to Final Fantasy and the continued, I guess, tragedy that has befell the Endwalker servers. So, yes, we have got the response to the congestion as of December the 15th. Hello, this is Naoki Yoshida, also known as Lord and Saviour Yoshi P. Basically, my beautiful people, basically. For any of you who are under a rock, and I know a lot of this channel is based on For Honor and anime and content like that, but you know what? There is one thing that I love in this world, and that is Final Fantasy XIV. Trying to actually get into the game itself has basically become the hardest form of content that the game has ever released. Um, there's nothing more soul-crushing, really, when you spend nine hours at work, you come back, and you sit in a queue for another three hours to get one hour of gaming, and then you go to sleep. I mean, I've kind of adapted to this now, you know, it's a bit like having a bit of cock and ball torture at the start. You know, it hurts, it's not really that fun, but as time goes on, you know, you do find pleasure within the pain. And that is currently how I'm feeling with the servers, but <clears throat> Lord and Saviour Yoshi P is not about that. He doesn't want to subject all of us to this uh, yeah, tragedy, and as such, he's released this. So, yes, we are basically getting additional, additional game time compensation. Now, we did have the recently granted seven days, but we're now granting an additional... 14 days, which, uh, yeah, I mean, quick mathematics is 21 days. 21 days free is fantastic. And I'm going to say this, okay? I'm going to say this. Now, my beautiful people, now is actually the time to buy Final Fantasy XIV, okay? Because if you have an active subscription as of Tuesday, December 21st, you're going to be getting 14 days plus 7 days. That's 21 days free. That's basically an additional month. So, talking about freebies, though, and if you're on a free trial, stop. Please, because, number one, I want to get onto the game. Actually, great idea. Everyone else stop playing. That way I can actually get into the game. That's fantastic. But, yes, I mean, look at this. This is suffering from success to the highest degree. Okay? Players are currently experiencing extremely long wait times due to the dense concentration of players playing far exceeding our server capabilities. Capacity, not capabilities. Okay, especially during peak times. So we have decided to temporarily suspend the sale and delivery of Final Fantasy XIV Star Edition and Complete Edition. Additionally, although those with active subscriptions are part of trials to log in, free trial players are unable to log in outside of late night and early morning hours. And so we have also temporarily suspended new registrations of the free trial. I mean... Wow. In it, I mean, that is suffering to success of a whole of a whole new level. Oh, yeah, so basically, um, don't actually be getting into Final Fantasy XIV because Yoshi P is not going to let you. Like I say, suffering from success. I mean, this is like one of the best flexes you could possibly be as a game dev, as a gaming company, is that your product is that in demand, you can no longer sell digital copies because you just do not have the resources to house all these people. I mean, I'm just going to say it how it is. I do believe that the queue times will not go down for a very long time. It's all that idea about scarcity. People who physically cannot get into the game will want to get into the game more. And the majority of us are on the Hellspawn site known as Twitter. <coughs> Sorry, COVID. The majority of us are on that Hellspawn site known as Twitter. Now, obviously, on Twitter, I do have... Uh, I mean, I meant to probably put spoiler warnings and all. I'm still stuck in Shadowbringers. But I'm seeing so many people say how amazing Endwalker is that those of us who are not there want to get there and experience it. As such, we will be ready to go and wait in these queues just to have that tiny hour of fun game time. So, yeah. <clears throat> it's a... Uh, these queues aren't going to go down for a long time. I do kind of feel sorry for the older, the older Square Enix team and the Final Fantasy team and all that sort of stuff because uh, it ain't easy. I mean, it ain't easy. I mean, they did obviously mention before about how they like trying to secure chips. COVID has hit Japan really hard. So getting the chips, getting everything working, I do understand. And I don't think they're bullshitting us. I do understand there's a business point of view. They don't want to be putting more servers up. Because obviously, if they are putting more servers up, then uh, yeah, that's just you know wasted cost. But I mean, they do say any PR is good PR. But I am starting to see people get a little bit niggled with the fact that they cannot get in to Final Fantasy. 
I mean, they've released the new Christmas event. And one of the first things I saw in the comments was people complaining about the event and saying, hey, the event is good, but it would actually be good to get into the game. And that is something I do agree. I mean, there's no point in really putting out events if the majority of your player base is actually struggling to get into the game. Uh, I love the era 2.0. The era 2002. There we go. I do love seeing this because uh, any of you who have been in queues know this dreaded error. And I love the fact that is a bug as part of a login related program created back in version 1.0. So the original Final Fantasy has come back to haunt us. And the upcoming patches basically talking about the new raid, Pandemonium, uh, as, as, fedled, Pandemonium, as, fedled, as, 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 aphrodisiac. Yes, Pandemonium, aphrodisiac, savage. It's just going to be something else. I mean, I'm going to be looking forward to January the 4th when there's going to be people who now want to go get into doing the raid as well. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to say is uh, Final Fantasy, absolutely fantastic game. I'd always recommend people to get into the game. But sadly, you will no longer be able to get into the game. Why will you no longer be able to get into the game? Because the game is just that too goddamn successful. Now... Once all the hype dies down, probably in about two, three months, and I'm not even joking when I say that. I mean, we saw what happened to New World. Uh, there was a huge amount of interest. There was huge queues. People realised the game was actually dog shit. So because it was dog shit, they then left en masse. Therefore, I uh, just, what do you call it, made a load of space available, really, didn't it? Because, you know... You don't really need to have... If, if people aren't playing, then there's going to be more space. It's the exact opposite of this game. People want to play. People are enjoying it. But people aren't able to play. And this is, like I say, it's just creating that demand. You know? I mean, I'm not lying. I am making this video, and I am also in queue. Okay? That is just how much my dedication to this game is. Because, uh, yeah. Yeah. I honestly, though, I cannot think of a time in recent memory when a game has been this successful i mean like i say what new world queues what were they like maybe about a week i mean i'll be honest i never played new world it did not interest me daddy bezos your game just you know it didn't tickle me fancy but for any of you who did play new world please let me know in the comments down below how long you was really in queue for and you know if you've played both new world and final fantasy let me know, compare, I want to find out, I want to get all the juicy gossip and all the juicy details because I'd love to know what's going through all your minds, you know, and how are you actually finding uh, the Q stuff and what have you done to kind of circumnavigate the absolute tragedy which is queuing. Now, as a British person, queuing is in my DNA, so I'm quite used to it. I also have a second monitor, so I'm more than happy to go watch my favourite streamer, Asmongold, uh, making content on there and stuff. So yeah, I mean, I'm okay. If anything, if you are stuck in queue and you don't have a second monitor, now is a good time to go buy a second monitor or guilt trip your parents into buying you a second monitor just to say to them, Mum, Dad, if you love me, you will buy me stuff. That is what Christmas is all about. But anyway, beautiful people, it's only a short video. Me going over this because, you know, I like Final Fantasy and I wanted to make content on Final Fantasy. And probably the best thing to make content on Final Fantasy is the fact that no one can get into Final Fantasy. But anyway, beautiful people, if you did enjoy today's video, then please have a like. That's greatly appreciated. If you do, subscribe, you haven't really done so much, hit that subscribe button to come up to the And have that bell notification tick. That way, you'll always when my content goes live. Remember, I've got the four socials in the description box down below. And with that being said, I've been Jigiro. All have been absolutely amazing. Watch me to catch you all next time. So take care and bye bye.